Lily, could you tell us the story about your violin, your journey with the violin? I can. Um, I started when I was in third grade. I actually started because my parents bought a piano, and I really didn't want to play a piano. So they brought the piano in, and I was mad at them because I didn't want to play piano, and I still don't really like piano. But they, um, and they said, you have to play an instrument. So I said, okay, I'll play violin. And then... Through my childhood, I'd listened to a whole bunch of classical music, and I think I had kind of identified with the violin music, so I kind of knew what it was. But then my parents bought, well, they actually took a violin from my grandfather, who plays, like, every single instrument available. And so I started playing with um, my first teacher, and then I moved for, I started in the Suzuki pedagogy program, and then moved to a different teacher, still um, with that same program. And then um, Miss Dawn is my teacher now, and so I kept um, going through that. And then this year, one of my favorite experiences with the violin was um, I got to play a solo with the Anchor Juice Symphony. Um, as th- there's a concerto competition every year, so you get to compete to play a concerto with the with the whole symphony. So I won it, and it was a super, super amazing experience. It was really, really nerve-wracking, though, especially the audition, and that was in December. So I, I went in, and I thought I had done absolutely horribly because I missed a whole bunch of notes, um, and I just, like, my only goal was to get through the piece without falling apart, and I succeeded in doing that. And then... That night, they um, sent out an email that, and it said that I had won, and I completely freaked out because I didn't think I had done well enough to win it. And so, I kept, um, I just kept working, trying to get this piece. I had two months to get this piece up to like to the best level that I could, and so I um, was like, I was working extremely difficult with. Um, it was working very, very hard, and it was still very. It was a very difficult piece, one of the mo- most difficult ones I've ever played. So, and then every week I practiced with the symphony. And the first time I played with the symphony, it was, it was kind of an eye-opening experience because I realized that I'm not the only thing happening. And with just playing with the piano, you miss a whole bunch of the, like the the flute has some solos, and then. Um, sometimes the cello has a solo, and there's there's a communication between the soloist and the um, other little solos in the orchestral music. So it was super cool to be able to have that communication, um, especially in the rehearsals because I was facing the orchestra and I was I was able to look up and actually make eye contact with some of the people who were having solos that were in that conversation with me. And then at the performance. Um, I left one piece before I played, and I got to pace back and forth backstage, listening to the orchestra play, um, play. I don't remember what piece. It was a Borodin, second movement of the Borodin, I believe. And I got to listen to them play that, and that, for some reason, that piece is the slow piece, and it kind of calmed down my nerves, so I wasn't... I wasn't super nervous, but I was shaking. I shake when I'm nervous. <laughs> so I walked out, um, and I started the piece, and I was, like, shaking. My hands weren't that bad, but my legs... I always wear dresses when I perform, or, like, um, loose pants, because I shake. And, like, I move as well, so as moving, then my clothing moves and covers up my vibration <laughs> and so I played I played the piece and it didn't go amazing but it was one of the best I've ever the best I've ever played it um, and turning away being facing toward the audience instead of the um, the orchestra itself was it was interesting but it was it was kind of fun because I heard I could hear the sound of the orchestra coming behind me and it would lift up my sound Um, and then kind of propel it out to the audience itself. So it was a super fun experience.